Hey citizens, this is Jim with JP Reacts, where you come to learn how to think like a politician and figure out what they're saying and what they're not saying by their public statements. Today we're going to be looking at a video about Congresswoman Green from Georgia. Uh, this is going to be a CNN video about it, and uh, basically she's the woman that's been in the news lately with some highly controversial speeches and statements. I'm sure you've seen it. If, if not, stay tuned after this. Okay, so we'll jump right right into this video by Anderson Cooper um, and his show at Cooper 360, which I will link to below. It's about again, it's about Congresswoman Marjorie Green from Georgia and her her statements that have been in the news lately. Let's take a listen. It's more breaking news tonight. This time it's a Republican Congresswoman and her Facebook feed in the past. She's Georgia Republican Congresswoman and QAnon supporter Marjorie Taylor Green. The K-Files, Andrew Krasinski, shares a byline on the story, joins us now. So, Andrew... All right, before we get too far into this, I wanted to go over who Q is and QAnon is. Uh, you probably heard of them, but basically it's a conspiracy group that is only online in Reddit and 4chan, I believe. And basically it's this person that is called Q, who is supposed to supposedly buried deep inside the government and has all these conspiracy theories and is able to know all these things that are going on deep in the government that are classified and are coming, but nobody knows about it because it, it's on the inside track and the deep state is taking care of it. Uh, but all of these have been proven to be false. Uh, one of the bigger ones was Pizzagate, where there's supposedly a, a child molestation ring in the basement of a pizza place in D.C. Uh, when people went there, and there was no basement, so there could be no molestation ring down there. That's one of the main, one of the main, a big one that came out. But you've probably seen people at Trump's rallies holding big Q signs. That's how embedded into the conservative movement QAnon has become. So let's listen a little bit further. What more did you learn about the Congresswoman's views and comments? So uh, what we found was that uh, Marjorie Green in 2018 and 2019, and this is before she ran for Congress, she was a conservative uh, commentator, uh, posted on Facebook a lot. Uh, she repeatedly in indicated that she supported executing uh, Democratic members of Congress, uh, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, there was a post in which, and you know, this is really graphic stuff, somebody said, a bullet to the head would be an easier way to remove Pelosi and Green liked that comment. Uh, she also repeatedly liked these comments about executing members of the FBI who she claimed were part of the deep state conspiracy against uh, President Trump. Uh, and sort of the backdrop to this was she was leading this petition to impeach Pelosi saying she was guilty of treason uh, and she gave many speeches in support of this. Uh, and in many of those uh, actually Let's stop there again. Uh, basically, this impeachment of Speaker Pelosi could never have happened. You cannot impeach a congressperson or a senator. The only way to remove a congressperson or senator is one of two ways. Either you vote them out or you the, how, the chamber in which they reside expels them. That's the second way. And basically what that means is even if you are arrested or put in jail or convicted of a crime, if your chamber does not vote you out and expel you from the chamber, you are still an active member of that House chamber and you can't vote on legislation and anything else. Uh, being convicted of a crime does not make you not a congressperson or senator. So what the, how do you get somebody expelled? You need two thirds of the members of that chamber to vote them to be expelled from the chamber. So it's not even a majority, it takes a pretty large amount of people to vote them out. Hasn't happened, hasn't happened a lot. Um, it's happened more in the Senate than the House, and there have been some Congress people that have served from jail. So that's not unheard of before either. But this, this notion of impeaching somebody to remove them from office, a Congressperson in this case, Speaker Pelosi is a Congressperson, uh, is impossible. And does she believe that this is true? I don't know, but we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end also you know suggested that pelosi could be executed for treason um and, so there was you know, just met many many of these comments and, yeah. and i and i think we just put it on the screen but d did you get a response from the congresswoman or anyone in her office so 
the interesting thing about her response was we asked for comment, um, and then you know, almost like two hours before we posted the story, they sent out a tweet, and she didn't deny that she had made any of the comments or liked any of the posts, uh, but she said, over the years, I've had many people manage my posts, many posts have been liked, many have been shared, some of them did not represent my views, uh, especially the ones CNN is about to spread across the internet. Uh, so she was basically, you know, didn't deny liking them, but said, you know, I might not have. And again, at the time, she was a conservative commentator. I think she ran a CrossFit gym, so it would be a little strange if other people were running her pages. I mean, it, I was just reading her that response there. It said, uh, you know, that that they're coming after me because uh, essentially uh, they're trying to have socialism in America, and she's standing up again. I'm a threat to their goal of socialism, she says. I mean. The story is about comments, things she actually did, uh, or at least were on her Facebook page, in which she seems to be happy about the idea of shooting Nancy Pelosi in the head or kill, you know, executing members of Congress. That's what this is about. Well, and it's she also sort of suggested that it was us in her com whole, whole comment coming out for her about stuff other people said. But in our story, she's on video suggesting that Pelosi could be executed for treason. So it's not just about a random comment on Facebook or things she liked on Facebook. Uh, it's about stuff she also said in video and put on Facebook. Right. Yeah, I mean, she's, you know, said Q is a patriot. We know this. Uh, you know, it's she's, uh, yeah, has an interesting past. Andrew Kaczynski, appreciate it. So that's the end of the video, but um, she is a known Q uh, supporter, QAnon supporter, as you can see, and she has talked about executing members of Congress, specifically Nancy Pelosi, as, you, as, as was mentioned here, for treason, no less, uh, when there's so much that could have been said about the Trump administration that she actively supported to get herself elected that was never convicted of treason. So. Um, that's probably unlikely. Now, the question is, does she believe these things? Now, I don't know a lot about Congresswoman Green, I, so I don't know how about her intelligence level, her competence level, any of that. She's very new. But from what I gathered and what I've read is she's been a political commentator for quite a while, so she probably knows a lot of these things aren't true and can't happen, right? She probably knows you can't impeach a congressperson. She probably knows that there's not that it's impossible to get somebody executed for treason uh, when they haven't committed treason, which is a very specific crime that's the only one delineated in our Constitution. So why is she saying these things? And basically what you see right, what you saw right in this video, she got herself on CNN, right? She got herself attention that she want and what she wanted to get. So she's, her and other politicians like her will say something provocative to get themselves some attention to get themselves um, book deals, because the more attention they get, the more money they can make from book deals, being a commentator on places like Fox News or Own Network. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can you can use your notoriety to, to raise your profile, right? So that, and in this case, it helped her become a congresswoman, which, you know, hats off to her. She used, she used her, uh, her, her statements to, to propel her forward and to become a congressperson. But, she probably, and people like her probably don't believe these things. Uh, when you see politicians saying, saying provocative things on TV, it's more just to get their attention. If they're already in office, they're probably trying to fundraise uh, to, for her, their next election and they need more attention. If they say something really out there, they're gonna get people on the fringe to send them money to help them fundraise. Uh, they may be trying to go to a higher office, gain more power, you know, set themselves up for a career post, uh, post public service, like uh, on one of those networks or uh, speaking deals or all those things to make money in the future. They don't, for generally don't believe the things that they're saying. They're just trying to gain attention so they can get their name out there, get more exposure. Uh, and in the past, that really hasn't been uh, a thing that's been dangerous, right? It's been just something that we know politicians have done from time to time. They most of the time don't believe it, even though they pretend they do. And, you know, some of their supporters will believe that they believe it because they said it, right? 
Uh, but these days, we've seen how some of this rhetoric can turn into violence. Uh, we saw the terrorist attack on the Capitol a few weeks ago from statements from President Trump and others that were at that rally that really turned this type of rhetoric into violence. And that's not okay. So politicians need to be really careful about their statements these days, making sure that they don't incite people to violence. They are, if they're just trying to get on TV, they gotta really make sure that it's not in a way that could put a bullseye on somebody else. And right now, it's gonna be really incumbent on these people to make sure that they're careful in their statements. We know, we know that for the most part they're not believing these things, so they need to make sure that they're careful and take that into consideration. So things like what happened at the terrorist attack at the Capitol doesn't happen again. That's the, that's the most important part. Politicians are going to say stuff that are outrageous. We all know that, uh, but they, they need to be more responsible. And us as a voting public need to hold them responsible for statements that they're saying that could cause violence, like President Trump did. Uh, during the January 6th attack on the Capitol. So hopefully you learned something about uh, from this and f about uh, Congressman Green and just generally what people make these types of comments. If you did, please like the video below. And in the comments below, tell me uh, about a, a, a politician that you think actually believes the things that they're saying that are outrageous and crazy. Uh, maybe I'll take a listen and we'll do a video on those too. But in the meantime, have a great day and I'll see you around the internet. Bye.